Counting down the best James Bond pre-title sequences, at number 12, it's for your eyes only. I think when you look back at the pre-title sequences, people think loads of them are self-contained. But actually, there's only about five or six, maybe. But for your eyes only is one of them. In terms of the context of a two-hour James Bond film, it's completely self-contained. It's yeah. like, right, it's finished. As soon as that fella falls down the chimney, boom, that's it. We're into the song, we're into the mm -hmm. actual main thrust of the mission, which is nothing to do with Blofeld. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a nice nod, isn't it? The grave, visiting the grave. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Love and it. And Moore's more more outfit great. is yeah, yeah. beyond the scale. And that's the really first still had the like explicit reference to Tracy as well. To obviously oh, see the grave that yeah. has her name and everything. It's very oh, explicit. Very much. Because so. to be honest, as a kid, I thought, well, to be fair. Bond could have been married quite a few times. You know, it seems like he's yeah. been around a bit. So it wasn't like... <laughs> but John Glenn, I think he definitely said he... There is a lot of homage to Honor Majesty's, isn't there? And John Glenn just does it so well, doesn't he? It's just a little scene. Mm -hmm. Roger Moore doesn't need to say anything. You can see his face. That's all yeah. I want. It's so good. Yeah, there's no talking to her grave. There's no, no monologue about how he misses her. He just... He's interrupted before he's even been there for a couple yeah. of... Like, 30 yeah. seconds. Mr. Bond, Mr. Bond, I'm so glad I caught you. Uh, your office called. Uh, they're sending a helicopter to pick you up. Uh, some sort of emergency. Yes, it usually is. Thank you. Is the priest or the vicar, is he in on it? I, I think he is. Whoa. Because he does give that cross. And that shot, which oh, I, yeah. every time I love it, the, yeah. where he just assigned the cross, the, the vicar, and it's like shot through the long grass. Yeah. It looks like it's from The Omen. I was just about it to does, say doesn't it? it? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, it's so brilliant. Sure. He must, because he must know something. Why does he do that? Or is it, you know, again, is it just us interpreting him? He, or is he just like, actually, you know, Bond is such a sad fellow, you know, I'll, yeah. I'll sort of bless him because he didn't, you know, he's obviously he's in pain because he's lost his wife. Maybe there's that, or, or he's flight. in on it. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I forget that the pilot is on it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, why is he in it? Because he kills him, and he also has Universal Exports on the side. So when I remember, yeah. remember it, I think he surely he works for, you know, yeah. MI MI6, and then Barfell kills him so he can take over the play. Oh, no, no. But it's actually his own man, yeah. which is weird. So I don't know whether they got a fake uh, helicopter. They built a fake helicopter mm. like the one, rather than, you know, stealing it from MI6, which would have been more yeah. Just spray painted Universal yeah. Exports. Uh, but again, we don't need like lengthy backstory on this Jesus no, no. turn here. We, it's just like, oh heck, he's in on it. Oh heck, that's a, a helicopter that James Bond should trust. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, like oh dear, oh no, and then suddenly we are where we are, and mm -hmm. it's shot so well as it well. This, some of the stunts are out of this world. Oh, yeah. There's a particular shot the when they're stuff. on top of... It's amazing, isn't it, Chris? Like, mm -hmm. there's, there's a moment where Blofeld's on the left of the screen and you've got Bond holding onto the side of a helicopter as it turn, as it yeah. jets across the rooftop, then mm. turns and pirouettes yeah. and comes back. Yeah. You were not seeing that anywhere. <laughs> so dangerous. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, dangerous is <laughs> it's such an understatement. Dangerous. I mean, it, it's coming after <laughs> the two, you know, Spy Love Me and Moonraker, the most epic stunts they've done. And this doesn't seem to be in the conversation, but goodness me, some of the shots where he's hanging yeah. up near the chimney, going right up to it. Yeah. yeah. And that pilot yeah. is throwing that helicopter around. You know, he's not messing. Oh, yeah. He's really he not, giving he it some welly. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I also love, I find something so comforting. And I know this, this would usually be leveled as a criticism, but... I, I find something so comforting about seeing Roger in a suit with back projection. Oh, he just is like, oh, I'm in such safe hands of enjoyment here. Like, I'm in the real wheelhouse of having a nice time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And with some lovely humour as well, like, where, yeah. he, where he throws the pilot out and Blofeld <laughs> says, like, really? Do you have no respect for the dead? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. Really? Have you no respect for the dead? I love that. So good. Really watching in real time, yeah. really? <laughs> throwing a dead body out of a helicopter. <laughs> Imagine like driving along and this corpse falls. Yeah. <laughs> Spectacular sounds from the yes. that yeah. when he gets electrocuted. <laughs> yeah. So scary as a child, absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah. 
And again, quite Return of the Jedi, electrocution. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <In the day. laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know how they did those effects. They've never been beaten, have they? Ele- electrocution yeah. effects. <laughs> if it's <laughs> ever been said, the yeah. fear of totally electrocution effects have never been beaten. <laughs> oh, I, I buy it. I, buy it. No. I, I don't think it's ever been beaten, though. With you. Childhood, isn't it? It's so Glenn true. Menier as well. This, this is, it's, it's out of hand. Like, and and and, like suave jeopardy, um, yeah. classy mm-hmm. jeopardy. Yeah. There's, you're not going to find any more of this. This is just so great yeah. to watch. Roger's facial expression when he regains control of oh. the helicopter, like, is you don't really see that much. He doesn't give much away, but they're, they're one of the few scenes. Occasionally, he does like when he cuts out of the. the, the Oh. Uh, spinning thing in Moonraker. Yeah, it's yeah. like he's really rattled. You know, he just oh yeah. Away now and then, but that scene was like such a better actor than anyone gives him credit. Oh, for. oh yeah, adds way more nuance. <laughs> and then suddenly jets into keep your hair on. <laughs> 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 oh. All right, keep your hair on. Bring it up, Rob. That was one of the oh, worst I myself as a kid. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So You're funny. absolutely crying laughing at that. Just look how he's so still, Blofeld. He's just sort of sat there. <laughs> can't, 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 person or, you know. can't possibly get a side no, no you can't, in yeah, that yeah. shot. Just yeah. keep looking straight ahead. That's why he's got the yeah. neck brace on. He's got blinkers yeah, yeah. on as well. Well, it's because <laughs> it, it's, it's Telly Savalas, isn't it? <laughs> it's supposed to be Telly Savalas, surely. Yeah, yeah because of the neck brace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a direct sequel. Diamonds are from the previous. <laughs> the last time we've had Blofeld. Yeah. Yeah. So it's so weird, isn't it? Yeah. No neck brace in that one. Yeah, yeah it's called in. Uh, really, Mr. Bond. Do you know respect for the dead? If it, if it was Charles <laughs> Gray. <laughs> the advice is very Italian. You know, it's so weird. Yeah. But just that it doesn't make, none of it makes any no, sense. No. You watch it, you think, <laughs> it makes sense. But actually, it's like, yeah. why has he got a different voice? Why this is a reference to a film like four films ago? Why <laughs> hang on? But you just absolutely it's so well. And another thing again, John Glenn just absolutely masterfully shooting yeah. it, editing it, the music, the just the right amount of everything in it is just a perfect balance. It, when I watched it again today, it's just like, man, this is so good. This is so yeah. satisfying. The stunts are uh, just out of this world, they really are. And, and, what a location as well. Yeah. Like yeah. over the over the like the roof. Yeah. Like industrial London. Mm. And, and Somewhere Duke, new. I mean, I know people will will quibble. I know and quite oh, yeah. rightly. This is a character pulled back with no sort of like narrative sequencing to suggest why he should be here in That's... this particular guise. Is this neck injury? Must be degenerative over time. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Like my, maybe had a couple of years where it wasn't so bad, and then it came back to back. Um, well, that, that is why you've got the neck brace, isn't it? Because it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then, like now, like when it comes down, if you're going to make your bet with this, then you're not going to enjoy this much more. If you if you can get yeah. over the fact that this is Blofeld oh. trying to kill James mm. Bond at his wife's grave. This has then got everything you would possibly want out of that scenario. <laughs> so, and, why, and why wouldn't he accept it? Like you say, he's such an iconic character. You've got the cat, you know, like everything. You know, like everything is there for you. You don't need to call him Blofeld. That's how. That's where he is in yeah. popular culture at that stage. Yeah. And what is he? Called, is he credited? What's he credited as? Is, is it bald like manners? Bald manners. In ball ball man in wheelchair. Cat. Ball man in oh, wheelchair, is, yeah. Is this when they didn't have the rights to blow from? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, yeah, right, yeah. okay. <laughs> Cre- so creative funny. thinking. Creative yeah, thinking. I don't know whether it was like, right, this is the end. We're never going to get the rights. Let's just kill Yeah. Them. I don't know. It even sounds like Telly Savalas. <laughs> yeah, it does. No, no, no. Version. Yeah, it's so good. And that line where he goes like, no, Bond, he's like, I'll even buy you a delicatessen. <laughs> a stainless steel one. I'll... What? What is Please. <laughs> Please. We can do it here. I'll buy you a delicatessen. In stainless steel. Please. All right, give me a What are you talking about? <laughs> it is. It's, you know, what do you want from a Bond, particularly as a kid? I want Bond in real jeopardy. Mm. And yeah. But how is he going to get You know he's going to get out of it, but. No, no, you're well scared. You cannot mm. see how he's going to do it. And no he, way. 
hanging off that that it's unscored, of course, until the progress when he yeah. <laughs> yeah, and when he flies into the into the warehouse, the sound yeah. just goes, and then yes. it's like, oh. and, and he, like jolts you back. So. Oh, sound design's amazing. Uh, also yeah. ahead of its time. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You're fading from my picture, Mr. Bond. But the end cannot be far away. <laughs> and the scores here, yeah. you get the bomb theme though. It's very Bond yeah. seven, isn't it? Mm. Oh yeah. Synth and everything. I must admit, I, I am a big fan of the score here. I am. I, I, so I, I'm, I mean, obviously, nothing gets near to Barry ever. No. But in this, like, what is it? Driving the country is yeah. out of this mm-hmm. world. All right, keep your hair on, and uh, oh, you want to go up. I mean, these are just... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I can you imagine the audience in a similar Because that's Roger. <laughs> that's Roger's Bond, isn't it? Roger's it, Bond was doing would say is. that. The tone of the film may change, but it's still Roger's Bond, yeah. I think. And this, the tone of this film got darker and darker. Oh, yeah. yeah. More serious. Put me down! Oh, you want to get up? Whoever tilted that helicopter and got the wheelchair down that yeah. chimney... Deserves a oh. million dollars because it is. He doesn't even. T- he doesn't bounce off the side. No, a clean shot straight down. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, how yeah. is it? How do you do this? I don't. Know. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like it's if so I told it this perfect. way, he'd be like, "I'd miss completely," or like, you know, it, it, I'd have to do it like a million times. Yeah, I I do, that I, bloke like, went up and did it like maybe second go. It's like Psh, done. Right, let's go. Home. Yeah. <laughs> At the bottom of that, there's another wheelchair with yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fred Dimner knocking it down. Years later <laughs> yeah. as well. What yeah. the hell is this? <laughs> Crushed to about that much. That f- thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> such a funny thing to do to get rid of someone as oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Just like pour them down a chimney. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a wheelchair. Like, like, local, it's horrible. Why are you nearby? Sure, you should be outside. I presume oh, you, you, d- you don't reception or whatever for his control. You don't leave this to you know. Well, no, I mean obviously, Blofeld was quite hands on in it, but surely you found this kind of work out. <laughs> you mm. don't. You're not there for this. <laughs> 